We begin again tonight with a follow-up here on KWWL News. After nine days, countless hours of searching involving more than a thousand volunteers, authorities still don't know the whereabouts of 16-year-old Jake Wilson. That's right. The teen with autism was reported missing last Saturday night when he told his parents he was going to walk to Wolf Creek. Tonight, the search for Jake has scaled back, but investigators are digging deeper into where he could be. Mm -hmm. KWWL's Taylor Bailey has been following the search for Jake from the very beginning. Taylor joins us live tonight. She's back in LaPorte City for us. Taylor, tell us what you've learned. Ron and Abby, at this point, authorities do have a good idea of where Jake is not, but they have searched dozens of miles around LaPorte City, and so far, no sign of the team. Over the last week, a lot has happened in the search, but still one question needs to be answered. Where is Jake Wilson? On day one of the search, his mother told us... He just asked if he could go down to the creek, and my husband gave him, told him the directions, and that's the last I've seen of him. That day, 900 volunteers scoured the streets of LaPorte City. Crews using ATVs, UTVs, drones, and even horses to track down Jake. Days two and three, motivation was high. Volunteers leaving no stone unturned. But I will be here every day until he is found. And something is done. Crews started using sonar in Wolf Creek and continue to search fields. Day four, authorities took over, and those volunteers were no longer needed. It's going to be very targeted uh, searches from here on out, and, and I just can't reiterate that enough that the search is still going on. Days five and six, authorities broke up log jams and sifted through the murky waters of Wolf Creek. The biggest thing that we're going to do is uh, really make sure the, the little nooks and crannies that, that are possibilities uh, to locate things are, are mapped. But the creek was not providing any answers. The more we check the water and the water's not giving us any answers, the more we have to continue like we have done from the very beginning on the investigation side, contemplate if it's not the water, then what? At the one week mark, Sheriff Tony Thompson demanded photos and videos from the night Jake went missing. If there's anybody that was in town on Saturday evening around 8.30 and saw someone walking uh, in the areas of uh, Commercial Street and Bishop, uh, any direction, we're looking for descriptions, we're looking for confirmation on some other things that have been said. And as we approach day 10 of the search for Jake, crews say they're about 80 to 90 percent certain that he is not in the water. Investigators are working to answer if not in the water, then where? Live in support, LaPorte City, Taylor Bailey, News 7, KWWL. Taylor, thank you very much. Now, Sheriff Tony Thompson says at this point, remember, this case is still a missing persons case. It is not a criminal investigation, but in their approach, investigators have always treated it similar to one so as to not miss any critical details. That's right.